Hey class, I hope you're doing well. I know you're all studying for this upcoming Monday's um, pharmacology test. It's our first one. I don't want you to be too anxious. I think that impairs the learning. So try to learn these medications as if you were going to take them yourself or if you were going to give them to a loved one. Uh, try to be aware of the side effects that accompany these medications as well as when you would hold, not give these medications. So pretty important. Um, this week we're going to be talking about chapters 21 and 24 and we're going to look specifically at hypertension and heart failure and then the week after we're also going to stay with the heart uh, and cardiovascular uh, medications. So the medications I need you to know for this week are Altase, also known as Ramipril, as well as Lisinopril, also known as Captopril. These are both ACE inhibitors, so angio-converting enzyme inhibitors, uh, as well as Nephetapine, also known as Adelat, which is a calcium channel blocker, and Metoprolol, also known as low pressor, that is a beta blocker. And again, metoprolol ends with that L-O-L. -L. Uh, okay, so please know those medications or try to fill out your template before you come to class. It will make the experience uh, much better for you. Um, also, the other medications that you'll need to know for heart failure are digoxin, also known as linoxin, and coreg, also known as carbetalol. Those are important medications for you to understand as well for the heart failure piece. So, I want you to be aware of the key terms, but inotropic effect means the squeeze of the heart. So that's the, if you're going to increase the inotropic effect of the heart, you're going to increase the squeeze or pumping action of the heart. Uh, prior to starting medications, we as nurses try to do a lot of health teaching on lifestyle modifications. That's hopefully uh, in the pre-hypertensive phase, we try to make lifestyle modifications. If that doesn't work, then unfortunately we get to these medications. We usually start low, um, usually a diuretic, and then we build on that, maybe a calcium channel blocker, a beta blocker, etc. Uh, it's important for us for you to understand how blocking the renin-angiotensin um, system actually lowers blood pressure or prevents uh, hypertension. Critical thinking question uh, for you to think about prior to coming to class is, why would a person be on more than one um, antihypertensive medication? Please know the difference between right and left-sided heart failure. If you, um, if you can know that, you'll, it'll definitely help you in your theory class. Um, also, uh, it's important for you to understand that African-American populations are twice as more likely to have heart failure and also five times more likely to experience a heart attack. And diseases such as cardiovascular, sorry, coronary, coronary artery disease, hypertension, and diabetes are all linked to the progression of heart failure. Uh, and if you know someone who has heart failure, you know that it's a very progressive, slowly progressive, debilitating disease. Once the heart failure um, happens, it's very difficult. You can't, the, the heart changes shape. That's the cardiac remodeling. It enlarges. And unfortunately, it doesn't improve the, the pumping action. It actually gets worse. Uh, so it's a very a spiral downward decline of quality of life. Uh, maybe you have someone in your family that has heart failure or hypertension. I'd encourage you to go talk to them about their medications, their side effects, any kind of health teaching that they got from their healthcare provider. And there are links on the Blackboard that you could click on and uh, link straight to the YouTube videos on these medications. So I wish you luck. And again, please feel free to use the discussion board. I hope that helps. You can ask each other questions. And remember, you can click on the anonymous uh, button. And uh, I wish you the best of luck. See you Monday.